Hey there, so today we have another beer. This is courtesy of Elliot, sorry. This is another uh, beer from Sapwood Cellars. This is Snip Snap. I did um, talk about, uh, one thing I didn't mention was actually, I feel like the can could, I mean, I love their design here, you know, um, at least here. But like, I feel like this part can use a good amount of like, I don't know, it seems like slightly, I mean, it's abstract art. I mean, it's like, you know, if you like abstract expressionism, but like, I feel like with how crispy and clean and cool uh, new cans are these days, I feel like it'd do a little bit better. Even something like that, I, I prefer that. But anyway, to digress. This is a double IPA, DDH, Citroen Galaxy. And so they opened, apparently, in, or at least they found out bad news in November uh, 15th of 2018. And it's a strange story because um, apparently Icy Mixed had caused their food truck to cancel. So therefore, uh, they were trying, I guess they were trying to, uh, or at least they were six weeks open. And they couldn't get traffic into their uh, tap room and then they opened uh, and then they tapped uh, Snip Snap, uh, double IPA, and then I guess um, the news is there. So uh, I guess that worked out when you re reduce uh, del delicious Citra Galaxy DDH double IPAs. All right, let's see that. Nice heart pouring that. All oh, of it. So uh, this beer is similar to the uh, Cheat Hops. Um, probably similar gris uh, grist. Uh, it has just this wonderful kind of medium gold color. I, I like the consistency of how like this haze is just like not completely super like milky opaque, but it's got a really f fine, rich haziness to it. Uh, also a little bit more color to it versus just like beers that are really like gold. Um, nice head retention though, geez. I get a lot of hop character, I mean, it feels a little less exploding out of the glass. Granted, this beer is a double IPA and a little cold. I get like some just general green hop character. Um, some of that kind of like light, kind of like tropical fruit and citrusy thing, but I mean, it has a good way, but not as explosive as the other beer. Just as good though, Jesus Christ. That is a galaxy bomb. So one thing I will note is that as um, the cheater hopped got a little bit warmer, it seemed to get, um, I mean, it's not a bad way, but slightly chalky. Yeah, it definitely got a little bit chalky. So I would recommend that you have your beers slightly cooler because in the end, it ends up getting a little bit more, again, like, I don't know how to better describe it. It's a little bit chalky with that kind of wheat, uh, wheat slash oat thing. So it's creamy chalkiness, which is a little bit weird. It's almost like, it's almost a little, it's, you know what, the, the strange analogy is almost like, um, uh, like gritty soy milk or, or, or oat milk. You know, there's just like this perception of grittiness and chalkiness, that, the grittiness that is associated with chalkiness. I don't know. But man, that is galaxy. I mean, it's a combination of citrus. So, the first thing you know is that this thing has this really beautiful high note. It's just like rich honeydew, sweet, ripe melon character. As I drink more and more like great galaxy beers, thinking of uh, Trails Green, it's just this like concentrated, like ripe, juicy melon, just like <laughs> like the sweetest part of it. And, and, and it's like, you know, yeah, a little bit of honeydew too, but it's that just like when it's not even like hard, it's just that, that top center best bite of melon you've ever had. Boom, right there. And then it's rounding off with that beautiful citrus note. So that's all your uh, pulpy navel orange, your mango note, your passion fruit. What notes are they given here? Passion fruit, melon, citrus. All right, well, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I guess they have really good tasting notes there. Literally like right out of the book. Like it's it's that galaxy melon and there's that um, <laughs> mango and citrus uh, and passion fruit from a citra, yeah. Great minds, right? Um, yeah. It's all those beautiful fruits. Uh, it's not overly sweet, but it has a little bit of like malt backbone to it. So it has like almost a little bit of residual sweetness from the malt background. Um, maybe hair biscuit. And then, you know, just light malts for days. Fluffy pale white bread. And then this one doesn't have that edge of dankness really, but it has a little bit of that like green character on the back and just to dry it out, just a hair, not much bitterness. Yeah, it doesn't have that mosaic dankness or Simcoe in there to like dank it out. It's just big, fluffy, like intense hops. 
hop smoothie juice. You know, it's, it's delicious. And then as you wait a little bit more to get a, bit, a little bit of that oat, cre oat wheat cream thing on the back end. Yeah, creamy backdrop over the oats and wheat, and that's exactly what they're talking about. Man, that's so freaking good. This like just reminds, and that one, now I drink more, there's a little bit of this like minty thing going on. Like I know, I mentioned that it wasn't that much of that kind of like greener hop dank bout, but now I'm drinking, I'm getting a little bit of this like pine character, like spruce, like fresh pine cones and like all that, just like mintiness and, and honestly like chewing gum and toothpaste sort of like coming in there as well. Wow, what we love. Again, I, I again, I, I really like their beers, but I I feel like their beers I would have just a hair cool, but, but like I, it's not like you know fridge cold, but like not super warm because I do feel they get a little bit like like chalky, but I think but that accentuates the mouthfeel here. Oh my god, yeah, this is a perfect temperature. Yeah, like I probably have around forty-five, no, forty-two to forty-five, somewhere around there. Perfect temperature, love it. Definitely warming them for a temp. Absolutely killer. Yeah. 100 out of 100. 100 out of 100. I mean, Sapwood Cellars. What can I say? I mean, that's just like world class amazing. I mean, like, you, you can't beat it. It's absolutely killer. Uh, double IPA. Uh, what is What ABV is this? 8 2. Beer drinks like 7. Like, it's absolutely insane. Um, I don't know what to say. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.